Hello students, welcome to e Shala. I am Dr. R. Shanti from Kumaruguru College of Technology, Coimbatore. In the previous session, we have seen fashion accessories, footwear and gloves. Now, I shall give you some input on a few fashion accessories. Fashion accessories is big business today. Huge trade shows are being organized with global participants and many accessory designers and manufacturers who participate to exhibit their products. The next world's leading trade fair, APLF Leather and Materials Plus, is to be scheduled at Hong Kong in March 2018. The trade fair displays innovations in smart components and advanced materials for the different markets and serves as a sourcing ground for thousands of international buyers and design developers specializing in new product development like fashion accessories. The learning object objectives of this module to gain knowledge on fashion accessories and its types, understand the production processes followed in the manufacture of fashion accessories and to learn about the care and maintenance of accessories. This module comprises of details on fashion accessories like hats, jewelry, handbags, scarves, belts and umbrellas. Let's start with hats. Hats are head coverings worn for reasons like protection from weather, ceremonial reasons or as a fashion accessory. In France, hats are made by chapliers. Today, hats are made by hat makers for men while hats for women are made by milliners. Historic hats were a symbol of prestige and status whereas the current day hat gives a cool and confident look. It has been reported that the sale of hats is expanding in Asia and there has been an increase in revenue by 14% year over year in China. Components of a hat, crown, crease, pinch or dent, band, brim, roll and sweat band. These are some of the components of the hat. The production processes. The first step is designing, which can be a manual process or a CAD design ornamentation is decided and blocked by the hatter. Manufacturing process consists of the following processes. Carroting, cutting and sorting, which is the preparation of fur with acid solution. Cutting and sorting with blowing and picking machines. Felt mixing and initial shaping. This includes blending and sorting of fibers and conversion to long sheets. These fibers are gathered by rotating a dome-like structure to form the basic shape. Setting of the dome in hot water is done. Felting and dyeing. This involves a number of applications of hot water, pressure and rolling to cause felting and hardening of fibers. Pigments are used to add color. Initial blocking and pouncing. All other parts like brim, band, etc. are added and set. Emery paper is used to remove the excess fibers. Western blocking and finishing. This includes steaming, shaping, pouncing and softener powder application. Fixing of the sweat band and final cutting of the brim and creasing and miscellaneous detailing are the final steps of manufacture. The last step includes quality checks for quality parameters of the hat. The styles of hat, fedora, pork pie, derby, western hat, boater, top hat, slouch, turban and baseball cap are some of the varieties of caps which are available in the market. Care of hats. Hats should be stored in boxes which are large enough and does not crush the shape of the hat and hence stuffing is necessary at the sides. Professional cleaning is advisable and re-blocking will tend to retain the shape after a while. Fur hats need airing and brushing with a good quality pet brush taking care to retain the directional luster. When a hat loses its new look, apply commercial leather conditioner or dressing spray. Jewelry. Jewelry is any adornment attached to the body or clothes often worn to enhance beauty. They include brooches, rings, necklaces, 
earrings and bracelets. The 20th century jewellery has seen many innovative methods like Japanese mockum gain, hydraulic dye forming, anti-clastic raising, fold forming, metal anodizing, precious metal clay known as PMC, art clay silver ACS, photo etching and the use of CAD CAM. Some of the production techniques include fusing, soldering, drawing wire, rolling metal, metal bending, repouse, cutting, die striking, casting and hand manufacturing. See the stone settings for jewellery. The first one is micro setting which is a setting of multiple stone stones under the microscope showing a very small distance between the stones. This helps to get an even surface with the row of diamonds. Prong setting. This has four to six prongs bent over a faceted gemstone with maximum exposure to light. Larger size gemstones require double prong setting for good security. Pave setting. Variation of the prong setting where the gemstone is set into the metal with the help of grains. These grains are pulled up from the metal and pushed against the gemstone which is rhodium coated to create a continuous radiance. Channel setting. Here, gemstones are suspended between two metal strips called channels and these are secured by closing in the upper sides of the channel walls with a hammer. Bezel setting. These are thin rims of plain or designed metal completely or partially encir encircled the gemstone and suitable for flat back stones like cameos and carbocons. Pressure or tension setting. Here the center stone is surrounded by a group of stones. The pressure of the gold against the stone holds it in place. The center and surrounding stones look like all in one piece. Invisible setting. The metal used for setting is invisible. The cut gemstones are grooved below the girdle and kept on metal tracks very close together with little or no space between them. Illusion setting. Highly polished metal edges bent around the stone present an illusion of being part of the stone. Flush setting. Here, the gemstone is beneath the surface of the metal band and is highly secure and protected from wear. Let's look at the jewellery styles. They are rings, bracelets, necklaces. Necklaces are found in different lengths and materials. Close fitting types around the neck is referred to as the choker which lands on the collar bone. Multi-stranded necklaces are also known as bibs. Longer lengths about 22 to 23 inches length are referred to as matme necklaces. Opera necklaces range from 32 to 42 inches. Brooches are ornaments with pin backings and include lapel pins, stick pins etc. Barrets, these are clips worn on the hair. Cufflinks are used with French cuffs. Earrings, these include ball or button earrings and drop earrings, extra length sizes called chandeliers. Earring jackets are those which are fixed around the studs. Tiara, these are crowns which are worn over the head. Pendants, watch bands, shirt studs are some of the other varieties of jewelries used as accessories. The next fashion accessory is the handbag. Handbags is 
a fashionably designed small bag or pouch that is handled or hung from the shoulder strap using a carrying person and it is used for carrying personal articles and money. Handbags may be categorized by the shoulder strap length as tote bags, cross body bags, sling bags, shoulder bags and clutch. The categorization may also be according to the utilitarian needs like laptop purse, gym bag, cosmetic bag, duffel bag and camera bag etc. Let's come to parts of a handbag. The handbag is made up of a metal frame which supports the textile or leather material. Gussets are provided for expansion at the side and front. The lining covers the inner parts of the bag for a neat appearance. Handles of different lengths and materials are made available for the bag. Closures with many buckles or zippers or locks, clasps, snaps and velcro may be used. Some of the styles in handbags. The first one is hobo which is a medium sized crescent shaped bag with a top zipper and a drop at the center. Bag width. This is named after a French loaf of bread and is a small narrow rectangular shaped purse. Duffel. A cylindrical bag with top closure and handles carried over the shoulder. Shopper. It is a large bag with handles for carrying belongings. Wristlet. This is a small handbag with a short strap resembling a bracelet. Messenger. These are bags used by messengers for delivering material and mail. It's a case-like bag with one long strap. Clutch, a handbag without handles. It's rectangular in shape and can have a detachable chain strap. Sash is a soft-sided leather case. Tote is a large bag with a two straps and open top. Bucket bag, medium or large size bucket like bag with a shoulder strap and drawstring for closure. The next accessory is scarves. These are commonly known as mufflers, cremers or neck wrap and these are pieces of fabrics which are worn around the neck, head, waist or shoulder for different reasons like warmth, religion, rank, fashion etc. The raw material is usually fabric made from natural fibers like cotton and silk or from blends with synthetic fibers. Screen or block printed, dyed or printed, the fabric is cut and sewn around the edges either by hand or machine. Ornamentation for scarves include sequins, beads, fringes or any other trimmings to enhance the appearance of the scarf. Some of the styles which are handled here are ascot, a piece of material which has two sharp edged edges worn one over the other and may be held with a decorative stick pin. Shawl or stole, a large rectangular material worn around the neck and shoulders and may have fringes at the edges. Mantilla is a large scarf in lace. It is worn over the head and may have fringes or scalloped edges. Cowboy is a square material folded into a triangle and the two corners of the triangle are tied into a knot which is worn at the back with the pointed part of the triangle in the front. The muffler, it is a woolen oblong piece of material worn for warmth around the neck. Belt construction, a belt is made up of two panels stitched together with a buckle with punch holes, tongue, 
and it is to hold the belt in position. Design development with manual or CAD system is developed and the designs are selected for bulk production. The two panels are cut and stitched together by a walking foot machine or by glue. Decorative elements are added, holes are punched and buckles completed. Elasticated belts and chain link metallics are used to produce a contour fit. Belt styles, cinch, it is an elasticated material fitted with a buckle or snap closure. Contour is shaped to fit the form of the wearer. Cummer band, a wide fabric belt at front and narrow at the back. Link, these are metallic pieces or chains interlocked to form belts which may be expandable. Ropes, a tie cord worn around the waist. Sash, a piece of fabric wrapped around the waist. Cell, any style of belt made of the apparel fabric with no differentiation to the dress worn. The next accessory is umbrella or parasols. In Latin, umbra means shade and sol means the sun and these two are used interchangeably since the 18th century. Since then, parasol denotes the shade that protects us against the sun and are more rigid while umbrella is collapsible and serves as protection from the rain. The use of umbrella dates back to more than 4000 years in civilizations like Syria, Egypt, Rome and China. Slowly they were used in Europe and England and today small functional and collapsible umbrellas are very popular. Components of an umbrella. An umbrella consists of the frame which is a metal form on which the umbrella is built. Ribs. These are metal supports that helps to hold the cover of the umbrella and may vary from around 8 to 16 rods. Canopy. The fabric or vinyl cover which spreads over the ribs of the umbrella to provide coverage. Spreaders. These are rods that move up and down during opening or closure. The finial, this is a decorative or conical cap of the umbrella. Next we'll go on to umbrella styles. Stick is a long narrow umbrella that fits into a tube and closes on the top. Automatic, these are either mounted on a stick or collapsible with a shaft that reaches full length with the release of a button. The bubble is a vinyl canopy which is dome shaped. Ballerina, a canopy with ruffles at the outer edge usually used by children. Collapsible are stored at half the size when not in use and reaches full length when required with the help of a button. Golf, this is an oversized umbrella which added additional coverage for special occasions and promotional activities. High-tech umbrellas are in vogue today. Sense umbrella is an aerodynamic design which prevents wetting of the back and can withstand winds up to 70 miles per hour. The Wimbrella. This allows not only wind to pass through and not also rain. The Wi-Fi camera umbrella comes with the GPS and digital compass and takes pictures and projects, projects it on the canopy with the flick of the wrist. Special umbrellas include inbuilt pencils, flask or sword. Students have understood the different types of accessories like uh, you have bags, then you have umbrellas, parasols, then um, you also have um, jewelry, belts, etc. Now to give you a small summary of the module, 
The global apparel industry has grown manifold over the past few years with fashion conscious consumers who would like to live up to the day and day to day changes. The market is swarming with many types and varieties of accessories which complement and complete the ensemble. Fashion is no longer attributed to items of clothing alone, but it also includes the right match of ties, socks, shoes for men and the handbag, jewellery, stole, sunglasses for women. The fashion accessory sector is a high potential sector in the developed countries while the sector is unorganized in the developing countries thereby there is a huge scope for development. The urban Indian market for fashion accessories is expected to reach rupees 12 billion by 2012 and you can now wonder how much of scope there is for development with the, in the accessory sector. Increasing literacy, high income, urbanization, consciousness of changing fashion trends, technology growth and higher level of awareness, retailing, online shopping, all these are some of the factors that have led to a consumer demand pattern of spending on lifestyle products and services despite the economic recession in the recent times. Technology has opened new avenues to help consumers to indulge in e-fashion accessories like smart self-lacing, self-warming shoes, stylish handbags with special functions, halal paint and nail polishes with 100% halal ingredients for Muslim women, 3D printed gold jewellery, etc. Another aspect which requires special mention is the sustainability feature in accessory manufacturing. The terms green communication and green marketing holds good for any product today. The fashion conscious consumer is also aware of his concern to the environment and society and this has led to many accessories like biodegradable sneakers from Reebok which has corn based soles, smart gym bags which clean and freshens items inside the bag and skin friendly cosmetic kits with sunscreens and eyeshadow from microbial derived ingredients. In the previous module, an introduction was given about fashion accessories. Now, you have learnt about fashion accessories like hats, jewellery, handbags, scarves, belts and umbrellas. The component parts of each accessory, the production process, styles, the care and maintenance of each type of accessories will help you to understand how to incorporate them into the ensemble and also its impact on the wearer. These basics can also be used to create new styles and they can be attractively blended to form the ensemble for the suit or evening dress or for any other garment. Hope you have enjoyed learning about fashion accessories. Thank you.